Bradley Sutton, Helium 10. We're talking today about Magnet and a lot of different little features that you may or may not have known. First thing, let's go ahead and enter in a search, collagen peptides, right? Since I always search that, Yes, I've searched that before, new search. All right, the thing I'm gonna to talk today about is the word count filter, that's right here. So right now, it is giving uh, any amount of words, whether the phrase might be five words long or it might be one word long. Sometimes what you might wanna do is filter it out and say, I only want words that are two or more, you know? Um, in this case, I wouldn't do that because I know like, for example, collagen by itself is an important keyword. And even words like paleo, you know, paleo is pretty um, relevant, right? Um, and it has 8,000 searches and that would be weeded out. As you can see, there's 2,198 total keyword phrases here, but watch what happens just if I do go ahead and say, hey, show me only words that are minimum of two, it's gonna bring it down to 2,143. So there weren't that many one word uh, once. How else might you do this? Maybe you don't, maybe somewhere here, like you see something really crazy long like this and you, for whatever reason, you don't want words like that coming up. One, two, three, four, five. So say, hey, uh, maximum of four. So show me once from two to four, it takes us down to 1846. So that means there was tons of five and six word phrases. And now, as you can see, that one is not coming up. Um, what if you only wanted like some really interesting long tail uh, keywords, right? So, hey, show me stuff that's at least four words, but still somehow gets maybe like 300 searches per month. Are there any on this list that come up with that? Yes, there's 90 of them. Protein powder for women, joint supplements for men. These all get over 3,000. Uh, what about, let's see, are there any ones with over five word or five or more words? Still 27 of them. So here you have like, look at this word. This is pretty cool. Colágeno en polvo para mujer. That's um, collagen powder for women, right? You might never have thought about that keyword. Only 17 people have that in their listing, right? But look how many times it's searched for. 349 times. So 349 times is not that much. But just by putting it in your listing, you're pretty much going to be on page one. So that's what I love about Magnet. You guys can find these really cool um, different keywords. Now, let's say, let me open it up and just say, hey, two words or more. Here's another field that you might be um, missing. Competing products or Magnet IQ score. Competing products, maybe you want to find words like that that only have like, let's say, 30 um, you know, so show me words that only have like 30 people who even have it in their listing, but 300 people search for it. Let's take a look. Anything come up? 36 different keywords. Let's just do some examples right here. Um, a lot of these might be um, brand names, which makes sense. You know, Zhao Collagen, that's a brand name. Um, but sometimes you might find different words that you might not even know if it's a brand name, like Tot Collagen Drink. I don't know what tot means, but I think it's an adjective, right? I don't think it's a brand name. Um, what else? A keto renew. All right. So this is going, uh, here we go. Grenetina hydrolyzada. I have no idea what that means. I think it might mean like gelatin or something like that. Hydrolyzed gelatin. You might never have even thought about that word. Guess what? It gets searched 300 times and there's only 20 competing products. If I didn't want to search, um, you know, for here, Maybe, uh, or if I didn't want to search for the uh, competing products, the other way I can do it is by the Magnet IQ score. Magnet IQ score is the score to show the ratio between search volume and competition. So what if I say, hey, show me anything that has a minimum of like a 10,000, was that 100,000? 10,000 Magnet IQ score. Well, that's gonna show me a list of 111 words. Remember, the higher the Magnet IQ score means that there's a good ratio between exact phrase search volume and competing products, and you might get some weird ones. Here's another one. Here's what we call Spanglish. There's so many people who actually search in Spanglish. What does Spanglish mean? Combination of Spanish and English. Colágeno, capsules for women. So there's a Spanish word and then the rest of it is for women. So would you have ever known that this was a phrase that gets searched 6,000 times a month? All right, now there's a lot of competition, or not a lot, but there's 265, so it's not like you're on page one just by putting the word in your listing, but hey, this would be a really cool word to rank for because of how many searches it gets. If I can get on page one of this, which should be a little bit easier since there's not that many you know, competing products, that could be a good keyword as well. All right, the other thing is, let's go ahead and say, um, I'm gonna take away these, these uh, filters. 
Do you guys know that you can actually search other marketplaces? Like, let's go ahead and search this in the UK. Collagen peptides in the UK. Um, here in America, I think it had said 2,000 related keywords. It's not going to be near as many for the UK, but we do have a database of all the UK products. And there we go, 317. Some of the top words for UK is going to, even though it's English and Canada too, it's going to be different than what you saw in um, America. So for example, the top one in America was collagen powder. And then like number two was collagen peptides. Um, where is collagen peptides here? Let me see. Collagen peptides. It's right all the way down here, only 800. But in America, that's like the number two keyword almost. So guys, we have different information for different places. Um, we already know there was a Spanish word in here somewhere, I think. Um, or actually, no, this is the UK. So not many people search for Spanish words in the UK, I guess. But I remember the colágeno, colágeno, right? So let's look up colágeno, Spanish word. And what country do you think I'm going to search in? España. Let's go ahead to go to Spain, Amazon Spain. How many words are related to the Spanish word for colágeno? 131. And you have mostly Spanish words that come here. Suplementos, that means supplements. Sometimes there might be English uh, words that come in here, like collagen. Guess what? There's people who speak English in Amazon or in Spain who are going on Amazon Spain and actually typing in a search for collagen. All right, guys, this is like really valuable information, things that you might not have known about. Calcio, that means calcium, I believe. I, I didn't see calcio or I didn't see calcium in the um, U.S., but I guess the pro the, the products in Spain that are have to do with collagen peptides um, are actually relevant to a calcium search. Remember, guys, just because you've done your full research in the United States and you're going to sell that same product in other countries – Always do the research in each country as well because you might not know about some you know, searching trends that people in that country have. All right, guys, so in review, make sure to use the word count filter, uh, use the magnet IQ score, use the competing products, and also don't forget about launching your product in other countries, Amazon too, but not relying on your Amazon USA search data for that. Go ahead and do the search in magnet for each of these different marketplaces, which right now, just in case you can't see right here, we got Canada, uh, DE is Germany, Spain, Italy, France, and the UK. Thanks guys, crush it with Magnet. Yeah.